serves over a stop called Parque Oeste. Welcome back here to the station today, probably home in line 11. We're going down, place the end to La Fortuna, and from there we're gonna make our way back north up to Plaza Olympica. Which is probably the only connection that I've had to the rest of the network, but soon it will be expanding. We're we'll talking about that, its history, and see what each of its stops has along the way. Let's get ready, here we go. So back in the good old days, before line six was a circle, line eight is was basically the northern sec section of line ten today, going from Nuevos Mesiros to Fern Canal. And at those days, they were planning on making line eight go all the way down to Itocha, and eventually down to here, to La Fortuna. However, money fell dry, and they ended up turning it in and connecting to line seven at Avenida de America. When line ten became what it was today, that turn point became Gregorio Merion, and Line 7 extended westward to its current point at Petias. But, down here, there's still a bit more future to go, as we're right by Cuatro Vintos Airport, which is one of three airports in the Madrid region. However, Barajas is the only one with commercial service. Madrid Torreon, which is, yeah, and right by Torreon de Ros, which is where uh, Parque Europa is, and I went there before going to Europa Park, actually. Spring break time. Is it just, like weird that they're gonna have a link between the two airports, even though only one of them has commercial service? But I mean, you're not really supposed to go one end to the other on these things, usually. Back in 1998, when the line first opened, it only went to Pandito in Plaza Elliptica. And it was only extended all the way down to La Fortuna in 2007. And back in those days, they were doing a turret toward Avenida de Ilustración in the north. But with the pandemic and a new hospital up there, they've decided to connect it to the other airports I mentioned. So I actually didn't know to check my research. La Fortuna went until 2010. It was 2006 when the line was extended from Pan Bandito here to La Paseta. And this and all this stuff is graffiti around here. But La Paseta was the name of the currency that Spain used for adopting the euro. And Fun fact, one euro actually equates to 166 pesetas. So, yeah, inflation hit when the European countries converted to the euro. In terms of money, we have no money. I don't really remember that time, but um, my grandfather was, worked with Fitz. So he probably definitely, I don't know if he saw like that kind, but he only saw like the creation of the euro and you know, retired truck driver was born, so like the year wasn't fully adopted until two years after. Yeah, you know, all this comes together. You know, I couldn't tell you those restaurants nearby, but a lot more upscale and need to chop shop. I guess to train ahead, I still probably wouldn't be a little stressed about this, but be a little less so. It's about 45 minutes back to campus non-stop. I was J, came from J Billings a little bit longer. But I'm just gonna get something, you know, to tie me over for a bit longer.
explain what I'm going to say from the Cartola, Cartola Alto and Vivarada Alto, or further south. It's interesting that it reminds me of Egypt. Lower Egypt is closer to the Mediterranean Sea, and the Upper Egypt is further south. But specifically here, for Cartola Alto, that's the name of the street. A lot of them are named after the street, the street center on So I swim to the bathroom here. It was free, but no soap. Weird. I was oh, amazed at all the green space down here. So, I'm gonna chill, you know, nurse on that chocolate bar. And, you know, we should make our way to Pan Bendito, which is the name of our next stop. It's only from that way, you know. As we can see by the exterior, we've gone back to a different era of the metro. Still feels like, like more like a retro and classic style. It's like I saw on the line 41 north of Avienda. Although the inside are still like you know very modern and the entire line of 11 has elevators because it was built after the uh, accessibility things, you know. The walls, you know. There's elevators and Better access, but um, my home station of Alvarado doesn't have that. And a lot of line to it, I'm like shocked that some stations do. Like, I'm surprised if you already got elevator since it's so close to Seoul. That, so if you need the elevator, might as well go to Seoul. But that's just me. This is a very nice one for rail fan, like you saw on those northern ones. Lunch, but enough time to look at kittens. Oh, don't go into the road. Well, the sun's come out, the jacket's off, my beverage is finished, my right shoe can't stay tied. Yeah, this is okay. This area over here, not a good impression. This area over here, very good impression. This is Parque. Maria de Austria. And Maria of Austria was a daughter of Charles V. And she briefly ruled Spain in his stead around the mid 16th century. Basically, at mid century. For, from 48 to 51. I can't tell you how my right shoes come untied during this video. Maybe eight or ten times. This is the first time I've done the left shoe, I think, since I've left J Building today. But I probably am going to need to get new shoes by, when I get back. Yeah, can we talk about his some stuff about his like didn't get to? Oh, I, I think is that um No, I did say that the original plan for line eleven it was going to extend to come to Castel, then go outside the circle from there, hit line nine Vintaros, hit line two, and then start heading back inward, eventually hitting line seven at Avienda de Ilustracion. However, that was before the Great Recession. And COVID-19 being revised with the pandemic, there was a new hospital built in Val de Bar. So they decided from Pazlitica, there were two new stations, Comilas and Madrid Rio, which looks to be another park of sorts on the river, before hitting Palos de Frontera. So there we link to Palos de Frontera, Anatocha, via line 11, and then from there, instead of following the original plans, we're at line 8, hopefully in the future. Will extend to Atocha and to Mendez Alvaro. Line 11 will hit Candacasel and lead the circle. And they're going to continue hitting Vintaros. Then I think it's going to be La Lipa, which is line 2. Pueblo Nuevo with 5 and 7. And then it's going to turn inward to Artosoria with line 4. It'll exit line 4 where it meets line 8 and Mar de Cristal. And then it'll basically follow 
the Cercanias from up there to the airport with another stop north of the airport. Drilled Vadaba Norte. So yeah, I'm more interested like seeing where line getting extended south or I think it's like it'll follow line 10 to Gregorio Merignon. Then it will connect line 4 and Cercanias together at Reclotus. We're doing another stop, I believe, before Atosha and then they'll end at Menez Alvaro where I don't see much we're gonna extend beyond that where line two and three, I can kinda see it, like extend line three to Aravaca and then maybe line two to Viana de la Estación or start a new line. Possibly or possibly continue the plans for Metro Norte of splitting off and taking line ten on a new branch to hit the front canal station and then have Metro Norte begin at Charmathine. It would just basically be split in half, but it doesn't really matter. It won't the stars won't split in half like seven, nine, ten are today, and then continue it to you know, sell the Estación and put us out from there. I don't know. I'm guessing a sign for those. Yep, I guess it will go right there. So another music YouTuber back there. I can't catch her name. So Los Quinto. But yeah, Faya Mazalutica, it is a bus terminal station. So, that, 6 and 11. I don't know if you'll need to use it. It might be more like a larger local system thing and not really like Mendez Alvaro or Moncloa. But yeah, it's a good to walk under here. Another challenge. This is gonna be second to the last one. So this rail stuff. I'm not gonna take these out long term. As like, all I know that after spring break is night four challenge and the three vlogs from Zivia. This is far as I've gone. And I just can do just straight down. So, yeah. Until next time. Buenas noches, buena suerte, hasta luego.